Erica. I just have that one last sweater. Baby, you can't expect poor people to wear something fashionable like you. That's why I hate poor people. <laughs> <laughs> So, Christmas is coming. I would like to have a diamond necklace as a Christmas gift. Which one? Anything for you, my princess. <laughs> this one? Don't even think about it. My dad owned that store. Okay, everybody, back to your seats. Thank you. Please take care of my son. Of course. Okay, class. Let's welcome our new student, Peter. Why don't you let him introduce himself? Don't tell me you have a crush on him. <laughs> <laughs> Bunch of jokes. Quiet, everyone. Peter is a mute person, which means he can't communicate with his voice. He uses sign language and he can hear and understand what you're saying to him. I hope everyone will get along with him. Peter, take a seat, please. Hey Peter, come sit over here. I can help you with your homework. My name is Becca. Okay, class. I have to go to the office for a moment. Becca, you're the monitor of the class. Look at him. He's such a loser. He looks just like my dog. Let's have some fun, guys. Peter, Mr. Smith said you are mute. Is that true? Come on, Steve. He's mute. How can he answer you? Hello. So, my name is Matt. Nice to meet you. Hey, leave him alone. Holy, I'm so scared. Monitor Becca yell at me. Whatever. Now, Matt. Let's talk about that meekness. Check this out. What's up, man? You want to play with us, huh? Come on, bring it. Nice, Matt. Hi, my name is Nikita. Do you really think I'm interested in you? Get over yourself. If you ever hit on my girlfriend again, I will break your leg. And I will kill you. Guys, let's just play soccer. What's going on? We saw that Peter fell down. We came to help him up. Peter, is that true? <laughs> Becca, could you please walk Peter back to class? Okay, no problem. Look, they're rich and mean. There's nothing wrong with you. Just don't let it bug you. Hey, look, I'm got chicken for lunch. Aren't you hungry? Really, Peter? You're so clumsy. 
Why are you so upset, son? I will phone school tomorrow. Don't worry. Everything will be fun, okay? Do you guys know why we call you here? No, sir. No. Peter's father phoned school this morning, and he said someone bullied Peter. Did you guys do that? What? Did someone bully Peter? Oh my god, I can't believe that. That's horrible. Please let us know who bullied Peter. He's our best friend. Oh no, I can't believe I didn't stop her. What do you mean? It's Becca. I saw Becca slap Peter yesterday. I was too scared to stop her. Okay, thank you for telling me that. We will take care of it. You guys can go back to class now. No problem. Sure. Have a nice day. What was that? I can't believe that idiot would tell Mr. Smith. He said we bullied him. If that's what he want, that's what he will get. What are you gonna do? Whatever it takes for him to get a message. So where do you guys want to go for lunch? Hey, there he is! Hey, Peter! Why would you tell Mr. Smith we bullied you? I hate liars. Whatever, you guys sold us out. I'm sure we will. Right, Peter? Why are you always crying? Grow up! Stop acting like a baby! Did you hear me? What time is it? Why are you home right now? What happened? Who hit you? I am tired of this! Let's go! So that is why the culture in the rhyme is one of the greatest novels ever written. Ready? One, two, three. Smile. Who hit my son? Did you punch my son? Did you? No, no, I didn't. It was Becca. Who is Becca? You hit my son? How dare are you? It wasn't me. I would not hurt him. He was my friend. Please calm down, sir. How could you let this happen? Let's talk about it outside. <laughs> like father, like son. <laughs> Crazy. Are you okay? It's not your fault, but it is not okay anymore. I know they could have a party on Friday. Let's sneak in and get them back.
Let's stay out of the way and see what's going on. Hey guys, look over there. Well, well, well. Looks like we're gonna have lots of fun. Great, let's do this. I would like to introduce my new friend to you guys. This is my friend. His name is Peter. Peter, why don't you say hello to everyone? You don't have to be shy, you know. Where are you going? Didn't you come here to party with us? Don't you like us? You came here. You're supposed to talk to everyone. Don't you want to make fun and fit in? Look at you. All dressed up for Friday night. How will you make friends if you don't talk to anyone? That's enough, you guys! I'm sorry, everyone. I guess Peter was just shy. Where is that loser? Is that... that's Peter! Hey, Peter, did you enjoy my party? I'm talking to you. Look at me. Hey. What is this? Sleeping pills? You're not trying to kill yourself, are you? We were just kidding, man. Oh, my son. How are you feeling? Are you okay? I'm sorry, I couldn't stop them. It is not your fault. You will be okay. We will always care about you. Listen, Peter, you are my son, and I will always love you. Remember, people care about you, including all of us. And Becca and I will take care of you at school. Now, just relax for a few days, and you will be fine. You need to rest. We will go. See you tomorrow. Peter told me everything. That's funny. He can't even talk. <laughs> <laughs> Enough! You think this funny? Kind of. You still think that's funny? We are her parents? I think my parents might stop sponsoring the school new library. That doesn't like liars. You wouldn't want that lawsuit on your hand, would you? I've had enough with you guys. You guys copy Becca's tests. I didn't see anything. You guys are rude to every teacher in the school because your parents rule everything with their money. But this is enough. You guys have gone way too far. Do you guys have anything to say for yourself? Well, my parents were going to sponsor for the school new swimming pool. They wouldn't be too pleased to hear lies. Stop your parenting! Get out of here! Flowers won't fix this. Well, I thought we were supposed to bring in flowers, so I kept this for my garden. Shh, he's sleeping. Let's leave the flowers that go. Oh, look, his diary. Have a look. I'm sure he hates us. Maybe it will help us fix this. November 12th. Tomorrow is the first day of the new school. I am I'm so, so excited. I wonder what kind of people I meet. I hope I will make some new friends that say everyone will like me. I can't wait for tomorrow. November 14. Today was the first day of the new school. I felt terrible. No one likes me. Everyone hates me. Why? Why, Why does everyone hate me? I've done nothing wrong. They were three classmates. They hate me the most. Math, 
He seems like the leader of everyone. But he has lots of fans. Must be so good to be him. Steve, he is really good at sport. I wish I could play hockey with him sometimes. Nikita, I swear she is the most beautiful girl I ever seen. She is really different than any other girls. I think I like her. Well, but they hate me. All of them. I wish they could like me and be friends with me. That's why I make cry. I want to let him know everything. But he said he will phone the school, so I didn't tell him who bullied me. I really don't want to get any of them in trouble. I really want to be their friend. November 14. Today was the worst day of my life. They hate me. They jumped me. What did I ever do to deserve that? I've never done anything to hurt anyone. Why? Why do they hate me so much? I cried. I went home. Dad was drunk. He saw me cry. He got some mad. Then he went to school. It was awful. Becca spoke to me. She said, we could go to Nikita's party and bring them down. I agree. Not that I want to, but Becca is the only friend I have. November 15. I was at the party, Nikita's party. I, I found out the reason. reasons why they hate me. I'm different from everyone else. I can't talk. I'm not rich either. They are so rich and I'm just poor, but I can't help it. Doesn't matter how hard I try. I was born this way. I can't help it. Maybe God doesn't like me. No one likes me. They all hate me. I hope you don't, Dari. November 16. I should have known that here is not where I belong. No, no one likes me. No one cares about me. I can't take this anymore. I've decided to leave this world. I'm going to a place where no one can hurt me. Thanks for being the only one that I can talk to. Goodbye, diary. Peter, we are really sorry.